it's Katie. We're here to talk about your lemon myrtle, also known as your Bacchausia citradora. This is probably one of my most absolute favorite, favorite plants slash trees. It can grow up to about five meters. When it flowers, it gets these most beautiful pom-poms on there. It's covered, absolutely covered, prolific flowering. And your leaves, when you rub them, smells like lemon, hence the lemon myrtle. It has a lot of other nutritional benefits and you know, edible benefits. I won't go into that because it's not really what I use the plant for. I prefer to admire its uh, scent on the leaves and its flowering potential. This one here is a little lacklustre at the moment. As you can see, it's looking quite yellow in its foliage and it's looking quite bare coming into winter. Um, needs a little bit of extra love. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a bit of a prune to get rid of all your legginess. And then we're gonna look at giving it some fertilizer. So we're gonna give it some fish and kelp max because it needs some vitamins. And we're gonna give it some Nutricoat, a nice slow release fertilizer. So that'll take it through winter and make sure it's got enough extra nutrients to help it grow. So when you're cutting something like this one back, does it need a heavy prune? Because trees will get leggy. Um, anyway, it's just the growth habit of it, but just a nice snip like that. You can be harsh if you like. Um, I just want to give it a tip room. Just take the tops off. The plant will respond really well to this. Nice and easy. This one here, you've got a really long stem where there's not a lot of growth and nothing on that one there. I'm going to take it right back in the middle there. When you're pruning, one of the biggest things to do is to make sure you keep your shape. I like to ball mine out. I like it to be even the whole way around. Even though that one looks fine, I'd still take him down just to keep it in line with all the others. Your pruning encourages growth. It encourages thick, full plants. It will encourage flowering. Overall, it's a healthier plant. When you cut your hair, you hate cutting it, but your hair's so much healthier after you've done it. Same as your plants. So it looks pretty bare at the moment. It's quite leggy and sticky. Doesn't look real flash, but Give that a few weeks of water and fertilizer, it'll be a different plant, you won't even recognize it. 